Hello everyone and welcome to another Cooking with Linux installation quickie. Let's use our virtual machine manager to go through the installation steps of a Linux distribution just to see what it's like, to see what actually happens. What are we going to do today? Today we're going to do the OpenZUSA Tumbleweed DVD. This is a rolling release if you want to be on the leading edge, the bleeding edge as it were. This might be one that you want to try. So let's say uh, we're going to do the typical uh, 4 gig for the machine. We'll take the 20 gig drive. We'll go forward. I'm going to call this one uh, Open Zusa. Whoops. Zusa. You know, I still want to do it this way with capital letters. So I'm going to do it this way anyway. Open Zusa Tumbleweed. Tumble. I'm just going to say tumble. Whoops. I can't spell tumble. I can't spell tumble. All right, here we go. Finish. All right, let's go ahead. Create the disk. We're creating the disk. We're creating the domain. We're going ahead. Ooh, I like the light bulb. Installation. Let's go straight to installation. I don't want to boot the hard disk, okay? We're going to go straight to installation. Loading the Linux kernel. And uh, let's, um, let's increase the size of that virtual window, shall we? Let's make this a little bit bigger. Uh, and by the way, I've got virtual machine managers set up to scale automatically. So what I'm doing is I'm stretching it out and it's scaling magically and uh, miraculously as we do it. Um, and uh, I should probably show you how to do that at some point here. Uh, but, you know, this is not what this one is about. Oh, well, maybe while, it's, while this is happening. What do you think? While this is happening, shall we do that? Maybe we'll do it while... Um, while uh, the uh, real installation is actually happening. Right now, this is uh, OpenZUSA Tumbleweed. It's in the process of, um, of uh, starting its installation. A little green bar at the bottom. Here we go. A little bit more text happening. And drum roll, please. There we go. Now we're in our graphical installation initializing initializing. Remember, this is just taking us through the installation procedure. This is not going to be a desktop tour. Okay, I just want to make that clear. Uh, this is an installation just so that you know what you're up against. Okay, Cooking with Linux installation quickie for OpenZUSA Tumbleweed. Initializing. I could grief. I should have something to eat here or, or, oh, there, or drink. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's happening. License agreement. You know what? I love this license. I am totally totally in support of this license, okay? So yes, next, let's do this. We're using the English language keyboard, kernel module, system installation files, uh, sounds good, sounds ding, adding repositories, initializing the installation, add online repositories before installation. Yes, let's do this. I include add-on products from separate media. You know, I don't have any separate media at the moment, so we we'll just go next. Um, create blah, blah, blah. This is all very exciting. Uh, create partition setup. And um, let's, we're going to use the hard disk and we are just going to um, just go ahead. Just go ahead. Um, I'm not doing the expert partitioner. We're just going ahead and installing this thing and letting the system do what it needs to do. All right. Uh, let's go to, where are we? Eastern New York. You know what? Eastern New York will work for me. Um, I'm closer to the Toronto area, but I'm not that far from New York either. So let's just say, let's go ahead Download list of online repositories, all very exciting. And I'm going to say uh, sources and debug. We're, not, we're just not going to do that right now. We're going to keep this a, a simple an installation as we possibly can. Next, um, adding main repository, non-OSS. Here we go. Again, very exciting. Just, you know, sitting here watching this. We should have a drinking game, okay? What you should do is you should have something to drink out there. And every time that I'm waiting for something to happen... Uh, you know, uh, we, we all have a drink. What do you think? Sounds good? There we go. License agreement. I already did that. Uh, but this one is for the main repository. So I'm going to say next. I agree to all of this. I think it's a lovely license. I am totally into it. <clears throat> totally into the license. I've agreed. Let's move on. By the way, you probably want to read all these things. I know we're living in a culture where somebody throws a, an end user license agreement, a EULA, in front of you and everybody says, did you read the license? Oh, yes. I, it said OK. And that's what you click on it. This one didn't say OK. This one said next. But, um, but you know, you should probably take the time to read these things. It's, uh, you know, there may be surprises for you. Although, generally speaking, if you're looking at the... Uh, 
at the um, you know the license agreement for an open source software installation like a Linux distribution, uh, you probably don't have a whole heck of a lot to worry about, you know. Especially if it's for your own personal use, you know, you're just sitting down and you want something to use. KDE Plasma Desktop, yes, that is the one I'm going to be choosing. Now, this is something that's a little bit different for the OpenZUSA uh, installation versus uh, some of the other things you see. A lot of the other ones come with a default desktop, so you decide ahead of time which one you want to download. Uh, the Ubuntu versions are like that. You decide whether you're, dis you're downloading the, uh, the, the GNOME desktop or the Unity desktop or whether you're de downloading Kubuntu, in which case you get the KDE Plasma desktop. But uh, uh, OpenZUSA gives you both. So let us say that. A full username, that will be me in this case. Marcel Gagné. Oops, caps lock. Uh, yes, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. That's because I'm using the touchpads. I hate touchpads. And I don't know why I went to the touchpad. But anyway, here we go. And I'm going to do M. Gagne just because that's what I usually do. It's, it's from the olden days. And uh, there's the password. And confirm password. And this is my super secret password. You've all seen this one before. And I'm going to say next. Analyzing your system, evaluating package selection. This is all very exciting. And uh, we're set to go. We're set to go. And yes, you know, I agree completely. Confirm pat I I'm totally in it. This is the Adobe license, the G Streamer license. I agree. Uh, confirm installation. Please install. Please go ahead. Let's do this. Uh, and these are some of the external packages, you know, the Adobe stuff that's in there as well. So here we go. Release notes, preparing disks, things are happening. Uh, this is usually about the time where, you know, if this looks like it's going to take an amazingly long time on the installation, I say, hey, go grab yourself something to drink. Go grab yourself something to drink. A piece of chocolate, uh, some cheese, uh, a burrito. A burrito. Yeah, that sounds like an idea, you know. Uh, any of you guys out there uh, ever listen to the Nerdist podcast? If you don't, you should listen to the Nerdist podcast. It's great on many reasons, but they have this thing, you know, at the end of it. It's like, you know, now leading Nerdist or leaving, leading, <laughs> now leaving Nerdist. Enjoy your burrito. I have no idea what that's about. I suppose they must have mentioned it at some point and I wasn't paying attention because I was not only walking along listening to the podcast, but I was also trying to catch Pokemon. Uh, on Pokemon Go, so my attention was uh, was distracted, but uh, but there you go. All right, so deploying images, installing all that lovely stuff. Uh, this is the part where I say, um, go grab something. Go grab something you eat. I'm not sure how long this is going to take. Uh, the time on my screen says 11.03. Uh, let's find out how long this actually takes. I'll see you in a few minutes. If you want to wait for a bit, welcome back. We we're at 96% of the installation process. 97%. It's 11.16 a.m. I'm trying to remember what time it was. I think it was 11.03, which would mean that this is like 13 minutes. So um, now keep in mind whenever you look at one of these installations that I'm doing for you here that I'm doing all this on a virtual machine. Okay, so this I'm using Virtual Machine Manager, which I've shown you in an earlier um, in an earlier episodes or earlier episodes. And uh, so essentially, I'm running a machine inside my own machine. So not all of the resources that my machine has are being directed to the installation. In other words, it probably installs slower. Well, there's no probably about it. <laughs> it will install slower in my virtual machine manager than it does on an actual bare metal desktop uh, or, you know, notebook or uh, if you're still using an actual desktop box, uh, the uh, the system will most certainly install faster than what it's installing here. Unless, of course, you're dealing with like, you know, old ancient hardware that just doesn't have uh, the oomph necessary to run something like that. But, you know, I thought I would uh, mention that. 
All right. Uh, you know, we could just wait six, five, four. I do love a countdown. Three, two, one. Blast off. And we are rebooting. Oh, this is very exciting. Here we go. Oh, connection to hypervisor got refused or disconnected. Well, actually, it got disconnected is really what actually happened. Uh, let's The highlighted entry will be executed automatically in five, four, three, two, one. Thunderbirds are go. Oh, sorry. Tumbleweed. <laughs> tumbleweed is go. Open Zusa. Tumbleweed is go. Thunderbirds. Tumbleweed. Hey, there you go. Um... Thunderbirds. If you don't know what the Thunderbirds are, shame on you. Go <laughs> go on the internet and look for the Thunderbirds. There's actually a great video where they do a side-by-side -side comparison of the old marionette version and the uh, and the new updated uh, CGI version, computer-generated uh, version. And it's really kind of awesome. It's really kind of awesome. You should check it out. It's really great. All right, OpenZoo is booting. This is the first time I've watched the Tumbleweed boot happening. So you're watching it with me for a first time. So we're discovering this together. Um, but again, um, hopefully these quickies are useful to you in terms of understanding and seeing what happens when you install a Linux distribution. Um, if you do find it useful and you'd like me to keep doing these things, uh, you know how it works. Leave me a comment, uh, give it a thumbs up, share it with friends, uh, with your local users group, um, local Linux users group or lug. Uh, share it with your friends, your enemies, uh, you know, anybody you think uh, that you think might find this useful. And of course, if you haven't already done so, subscribe. And if you've already subscribed, tell everybody that you know that they should subscribe as well. All right, here we go. And we are booted and we have have an OpenZUSA desktop uh, ready to go, ready to go. So there you go. Again, as I've mentioned uh, before, if you've watched one of these before, this is not meant to be a, a desktop tour. This is meant to be um, this is meant to be a an installation, just so that you can see what the installation process is for a Linux distribution, and um, and that's where we're leaving this one. So, bonne appétit, and uh, we'll see you at the next installation video.